Hey, it's David with Maxonix Tech Support again. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over radio power testing. We're going to use our digital multimeter, a power supply, and our trusty GMR LCD. First, we're going to test with our digital multimeter my 12 volt power supply from my battery or my simulated battery in this case. I'm going to attach my ground probe to my ground wire and my power probe to my power wires. Verify that I'm getting my 14 volts. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect my radio. This radio should be in functioning order. And as we can see, my radio turns on. Now behind my radio, I have two fuses. These fuses may go bad, in which case the radio will no longer be powered on. As you can see, when you remove one fuse, the radio shuts off. So if you have a bad fuse, the radio will no longer function. Now you may ask, how can we tell if the fuse is bad? One way is to look at the fuse and see if the contact is still intact. Oops. Another way is to use our digital multimeter. I'm going to connect just an easy ground strap from my negative battery terminal to my common lead of my digital multimeter. Now I'm going to take my positive probe and touch the metal tab on the top of my fuse. On my supply side or battery side, I'm reading 14 volts. If I go to my other side, I'm also reading 14 volts. This would indicate that this fuse is in functioning order. If it were broken or damaged, I would not get 14 volts across the fuse. We'll go ahead and also check my yellow constant power wire. As we can see, it also has 14 volts on both sides of the fuse. Now another situation that could occur to cause your radio to not function would be a bad ground or issues on your ground path. To do this test, I would recommend to change your multimeter to a resistance or ohm setting. Then we're going to need to back probe or disconnect to gain access to our ground pin, which is our black wire. And we're going to read the resistance measurement between my ground wire and my negative battery terminal. In this case, we're reading about 0.2 ohms. And I would consider that to be a good ground. If we get a much higher number, like a four ohm, five ohm, or greater number, that could indicate we have a bad ground, or loose ground, or paint or corrosion on our ground path, and we'd want to get that fixed. So now that we've tested our power and ground, I also want to demonstrate another possible reason why your radio may stop functioning. And that reason is going to be too high or too low of voltage. So on my power supply, you can see that we are currently at 14.4 volts and my radio is functioning. That is a good voltage for radio. If I turn my voltage down, To about 7 volts, my radio will no longer function because it does not have enough voltage to turn on. Thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you want to check out more videos like this, please check the description below as we're coming out with many videos to teach you how to test your products properly. Thank you!